Well, you're right here. So, <laughs> All right, we're taking a look at your weather for today, and uh, we've got more rain on the way. But how about Heber City at the skate park? Uh, the kids were out skating around and uh, had to take a break as we unleashed tons of rain and even hail. Looks like they're getting a little bit of cryotherapy there, uh, trying to uh, get the muscles uh, relaxed in a nice ice bath. Uh, thanks for sending that in. James Spencer with the credit again out of Heber. They got clobbered with water. East Lehigh picking up almost two inches of rain through the day. Harriman, 1.54, a buck 51 in Heber City. That did lead to some urban flooding in the area. 1.38 in Dugway, Salina down in central Utah, 1.36 over an inch for Nephi and even Kaysville. So it was, uh, for some of us, pretty rainy day. High pressure nudged off into Texas, and we've got another low right here that's going to kick through the jet stream and help to lift the atmosphere again. In fact, it's already unstable out there, folks. A couple of showers working through uh, the Great Salt Lake. They're going to be encountering Davis, Weber, Box Elder counties here within the next hour to an hour and a half. You got thunderstorms kind of crawling along I-15 here from Fillmore to Scipio up in, in, into Nephi, picking up some of that moderate rain as well. Okay, here's one o'clock. We're starting to get some thunderstorms going across the state. We'll then bring that energy as we head into the afternoon. Notice how we're getting some more reds here indicating more modest and robust storms available with that moisture. Eastern Utah also under the gun, but Southwest Utah, you're gonna dry things out. And that will be the trend into, into tomorrow. Notice how that dry air moves in. Still some spotty showers, but I think all in all, tomorrow's dry. So for today, 70s and 80s in central Utah, you have another chance for scattered storms. Some of them could bring the heavy rain. Cedar City to Washington County, down into Clark County, Nevada. It's dry over there. South Central and Southeast Utah still have a chance for storms. Northern region in Southwest Wyoming, 80s generally, but some of us topping out in the 70s today because of all the cloud cover and rain activity. We've got scatter storms on top. I have only 86 in Salt Lake City. So 98 to 99, up to 100 by Thursday, St. George. You're dry through Saturday, but Sunday, Monday, another push of thunderstorms. Wasatch Front, we've got 86 to 87. I've taken storms out of the forecast tomorrow. Still a slight chance, but we're gonna dry things out through Saturday. And then another chance for scattered storms Sunday into Monday as another push of monsoon moisture returns. And we're happy about it.